there's nothing quite like the return of club football. The UEFA Nations League actually provided plenty of entertainment, but nobody is sad that international football won't return until March. And we are treated to some thrilling showdowns this weekend, including Atletico Madrid vs Barcelona, Tottenham against Chelsea and the second leg of the Copa Libertadores final between River Plate and Boca Juniors. Meanwhile in Syria, all eyes will be on Lazio's clash at home to AC Milan. The two sides, currently fourth and fifth in the table, respectively will go head-to-head -head at the Stadio Olimpico on Sunday. While watching the game, you won't fail to spot the paint on the faces of the players. That's because this weekend, Syria players will take to the field with a dash of red paint on their faces. It's part of the campaign to tackle violence against women. Syria have teamed up with We World on Las, an organization that defends women's rights across the world. Teams will also be accompanied by women wearing a shirt supporting the campaign. It means that the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and Paolo Dybala will also wear the face paint in Juventus' game against Spal on Saturday. Syria clubs took part in the initiative in April. The campaign is supported by former Italy and in turn Milan goalkeeper Francesco Toldo, who said, violence is a cultural problem. In order to solve this problem, our sons need to be taught the right values and that they need to show respect. Youth academies can contribute to shaping athletes and men but what they learn from their families should underpin everything. It's a superb idea that will bring plenty of awareness to an important issue. Ronaldo is enjoying an excellent run of form for Juventus, scoring nine goals in 12 games in all competitions. The old lady have already established a six-point lead at the top of the table ahead of Napoli, who take on winless Chivo on Sunday. 